Mortal Kombat is a game that gained its rise to fame due to its emphasis on blood and gore. It since maintained its R rating throughout the years due to its super crazy finishing move. The Fatality Now if you don't know because you live underneath a rock like Patrick or you're like 115 The Fatality is a gruesome finishing move in which you kill your opponent in super duper gory and creative ways. And even though the fatality is a core important element of the franchise, Ed Boon and the developers still have come up with some crazy variations of the fatality. Today I'm going to be going through all of the variations of the fatalities in the Mortal Kombat series. Nice. Each variation of the fatality must be different and each variation of the fatality must actually kill the opponent. So no x-rays or fatal blows. If I didn't already mention this, I will be ranking these from best to worst. So without further ado, it's Waffles here. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe if you like videos like this. And let me know in the comment section below if I missed anything. So starting off with the first one, we actually have Heroic Brutalities. Heroic Brutality has been a one-time thing only in Mortal Kombat vs. DC due to the fact that we actually had superheroes, hence the Heroic and the Brutality name. A lot of fans of the franchise really hated the heroic brutalities due to its excessive lack of gore. No seriously, I'm not exaggerating. Batman literally tried to kill someone with bats. Yeah, bats. Cause he's Batman. You see why people hate it now? Okay. The heroic brutality was unique to the DC heroes and villains. So, uh, the fatalities in this game were really scaled down as well so i see why people hated it so this is why this is the worst and the last on the list without further ado the heroic brutalities all right next up on the list is going to be the first variation of the brutality yes there will be many variations of the brutality in this video but they're all different so the first variation of the brutality that actually ever came into mortal kombat series was the brutalities that came in ultimate mortal kombat 3 and Mortal Kombat Trilogy. As a kid I thought these were really cool but now that I'm older they didn't really age well. All it is is just a super sped up super combo that leads to your opponent blowing up in a million freaking pieces of bones. Like literally. Putting all these bones together will not create a human being. This is literally excessive. <laughs> then again humans do have like 200 something bones. Hmm. Could be accurate. Anyways, I don't think they're really bad, I just don't think they age very well. So yeah, let's move it on to the next one. Alright, next on the list is going to be the Creative Fatality for Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Now the Creative Fatality was actually a new feature that they put in Mortal Kombat Armageddon because they had so many people on the roster, every single Mortal Kombat character in fact, that they had to actually not put unique fatalities for each person in the game, probably because they wouldn't meet the deadline. So instead they made the creative fatality feature and this feature is actually a freaking chore. I freaking hate it and I wish they would never do anything like this ever again. No God please no! No! Basically the concept is there are multiple different inputs that does each action and you must chain each input together to create your own fatality. Now it sounds cool on paper but actually doing it in game is actually horrible. Each time you perform an action during your fatality, it actually has a timer that speeds up. So not only do you have to memorize all of these inputs, you're actually being timed while doing it. And each time you complete an action, it gets faster and faster. It's a very cool concept, but it just wasn't executed very well. Alright, next on the list is going to be the Shaolin Monks Mortality. Shaolin Monks is an adventure style beat em up type game. And in this game, the mortality is actually a variation of the fatality, which costs two bars of your fatality meter, and you can kill multiple opponents with it. For example, one of Kun Lao's mortalities is he started spinning, making a tornado, sucking people into his hat. These are all actually pretty cool, seeing multiple opponents being killed at one time instead of just one. It's pretty refreshing, and they have cool concepts like Liu Kang turning into a dragon and spewing fire all around. It's pretty cool. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Alright, next up on the list is going to be Mortal Kombat X's Faction Kills. 
faction kills being unique to each faction in Mortal Kombat X. If you didn't know, Mortal Kombat X had multiple different factions like the White Lotus or the Black Dragon. Each faction had unique finishers that you can use instead of fatalities and you just have to be full screen from your opponent and activate them. For example, the Brotherhood of Shadows faction had faction kills that would use portals and different sorcery type things to kill their opponents. While the special forces would use guns and different grenades and stuff to kill their opponents. I actually like this concept in this finisher because it actually made the factions actually mean something and you actually got rewards and different faction kills for each time your faction won the faction war. So yeah, these are pretty cool. I really like these. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Alright, next up we're going right back to Shaolin Monks for the brutalities. In Shaolin Monks, their version of the brutality is freaking awesome. Your opponent gets a super duper power up in which they would just go berserk, killing enemies brutally, fireball spam, spear spam, hat spam, whatever you want to do. All the attacks seem very heavy and very harming to the opponents. You can literally kill a massive horde of enemies in under seconds using this brutality. And they all had unique combos for each character when you do your brutality that ended in a gruesome gruesome i said gruesome oh my god a gruesome finisher <laughs> these are very super fun to use i actually want to know how you guys feel about this one i know i've been saying this all through the video but this is one of my favorite ones it was so fun to use in shaolin monks i love that game so yeah the brutality all right ironically we're going right back to mkx and we're going to use the quitalities the quitality is a finisher in which when your opponent quits the game or leaves the game early, their head explodes, resulting in a quitality. This is why I love MKX so much. I really love getting on ranked, doing 40% combos, putting my opponent in a vortex just for him to quit, getting that sweet, sweet quitality. It actually made me feel like I was Sonic Fox even though I knew I wasn't Sonic Fox and I was never going to be him and I was never going to amount to nothing. I was never going to amount to nothing. Let's go. Let's go to the next one. Alright, getting into the big dogs, we have the Bay Balities. The Bay Balities are freaking cool because it's another way of humiliating your opponent by turning them into a freaking baby. MK9 had the best version of this when each baby had a unique thing they would do when turning into a baby. Like for example, I think Sub-Zero peed on the ground and it froze and he slipped on it. And it's just real cute. It's funny. It's another way to humiliate your opponent. It's actually really good. With all the new characters in Mortal Kombat now, I love to see Kotal Kahn as a baby, or maybe even Garrus as a baby, or Aaron Black. That honestly would be freaking cool. I hope they bring this back someday. But there are two entries on this list that I like way more than Brutalities and I wish they actually bring back that they haven't brought back. You'll see. All right, next up is gonna be Stage Fatalities. Now stage fatalities have been in Mortal Kombat since I believe Mortal Kombat 2 and they're always awesome. Using your environment and the stage around you to kill your opponent is always a plus. One of my favorite stage fatalities is the one from MK9 on the God of War stage where you will hold your opponent over the ledge and you could choose which one you want to drop them into. I think one was a spike, one was a flamethrower and one would just simply just squish your opponent. Those are always cool, man. When you don't want to put all these inputs in or you tired of seeing the same fatalities, a stage fatality is always a plus. Before I get to the top three, I want to do a quick honorable mention that I just thought about, and that's the continue screen for Mortal Kombat 4. Whenever you were game over in Mortal Kombat 4, you would get a continue screen in which you was falling down a pit and it had a countdown. And whenever the countdown was over, you would always fall to your death in a gruesome way. I believe rats came and started eating you or something like that. It was pretty cool, man. I love that. I used to be scared of it as a kid because they had that music. But anyways, yeah, that's my honorable mention of Mortal Kombat 4 continue screen. Alright, top three. And number three is going to be the Mortal Kombat X Brutalities. The Mortal Kombat X Brutalities is one of many brutalities and the final version of brutality so far. Uh, if you want to count the Mortal Kombat 11 brutalities, but they're pretty much the same. I don't really like the Mortal Kombat 11 version of Brutalities because it's not really over the top like MKX's is. In MKX, you could do a 50% combo and end it in a Brutality and it just made the combo just so, so sweet. It was literally the icing on the cake. 
A lot of the brutalities in this game were actually pretty hard to pull off and actually had to be pretty precise in what you had to do to actually get the brutality. So actually ending it in a combo was so, so cool. And it really made you feel like you were rewarded for doing that combo. It just made the ending so much hype, especially in fighting game tournaments when you see two players going at it and one ends the combo for a game and a brutality just to humiliate your opponent even more. It was just so much hype. Alright, my number two pick is going to be Animalities. Now, Animalities wasn't really executed well in the Mortal Kombat 3 or Trilogy series. I don't know which one it was. Let me know in the comment section below. I know it was one in that series. But I know the Animalities wasn't really executed well. They were pretty funny. Like, bro, Noob Sabot literally turns into a fucking ad eater and just sucks up your opponent. Like, that's just fucking hilarious. And they have Johnny Cage turning into a kangaroo and just kicks you off map. <laughs> like, like, that is just freaking awesome, man. I really wish they bring these back in the modern day next gen gaming consoles. They would be so freaking fun. I think they should do some gruesome and some funny. I don't think they all should just be funny because they are animals and I love to see. You know, Liu Kang already turns into a dragon, we don't want to see that. But I love to see people turn into animals and actually do gruesome things with it. Like a freaking bear, grizzly bear, and just get to snapping and clawing your opponent. That would be freaking cool to see, especially in the next gen PS5 graphics. Oh my god, I can't wait. Bring it back, Ed Boon, please! Now, my number one pick for the Mortal Kombat Fatality Variations has to be the Hot Eye Kitties. Ooh! You don't know how much I love the Hot Eye Kiris in Mortal Kombat. Killing yourself instead of your opponent killing you and taking away their chance to do fatalities and humiliate you is such an awesome, awesome concept. And I wish I, I really wish they would bring it back. I really wish they would. These have to be some of the most hilarious, most gruesome ways to kill yourself I have ever seen in my life. Sindel literally jumps in the air and falls head first on the ground, snapping her neck. And you could literally hear the snap, crackle, pop. Darius literally squeezes his fucking head so hard to where his head explodes. And before his head explodes, he's literally screaming in agony and pain. They even have the real version of the Hot Aikiri with Kenshi actually using his sword to commit Hot Aikiri in a traditional way, which is also a plus. And my favorite has to be Havoc ripping off his freaking head and pointing it at the camera. <laughs> like, that's just freaking awesome. I love Havoc. Well, yeah. That's my ranking of all the Mortal Kombat variations of the Fatality. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. What's your ranking? And let me know in the comment section below if I missed any. It's Waffles, and I'm out. Peace! Oh, I almost forgot. If you want to see more Mortal Kombat videos from me, link will be in the description below. I actually made two more videos about Mortal Kombat 12. So if you'd like to see those, go and watch them. Thanks. Yeah! What the fuck?